Is Bob, is that still something you want to do? Go either way at this point. Okay. Um, Kristen? I don't know what we would see that we can't see for the plans or anything, but I'm willing to go if you think it's necessary. I, I, I feel as though we could probably um, handle this without a site review, but I, a site view, but I would, um, I really want to make sure that board members are satisfied with that. Roger, do you have a thought about that? Well, I wouldn't be participating myself, right. so, so I'm neutral on that. Okay. I would add my two cents that we're under extreme deadlines now with the energy code changing July 1st and that any further delays is, is, is going to have significant impact to the project. What that means, I don't really know, but significant. Um, we're talking 30, 30% change in costs. So um, not to rush the board, but I think we meet the criteria for the special permit requirements, which is my understanding what this hearing is about. Um, happy to take anyone over there, but you know I really don't want to delay the, the project any further uh, if it can be avoided. We certainly understand your concern, and we and and just so you know, we wouldn't make the decision to um, not do a site viewing based on that. But I think it's because we have, I feel like I have enough information. I know that the planning board has looked at this very carefully. I know the um, Keith Bardwell has looked at it. Uh, I And the plan is very detailed um, of the structure itself. So I'm comfortable with it, but I wanna, you know, Kristen and Bob are need to be comfortable too. I'm, I'm fine, Deborah. Okay. I, I am too. I mean, I drive past there all the time. And there's nothing really done on the inside yet for us to see. So I'm fine with not doing a site view. Deborah, Deborah, someone wants to. I do see that. Yes. Yes, sir. Would you like to speak? Yes. Yes, I would. If this was in your backyard, you would be doing a site plan. I want the site plan to, for the board to look at this site plan, to see where it is, see everything that's there, because I feel this is greatly impacting me because I'm on the other side of this. I look at this every day. I look at the dumpster that's out there, the paper that blows into my yard when the wind blows. Uh, and is this gonna be a first for Whateley? Uh, for the uh, nine bedroom apartment on one building? Is this gonna start something new? Because we have none of it, none of this has been in Waitley right at the moment. So I would like to have the site plan and everybody on the board look at it. Well, we, we just were looking at the site plan we, so we are talking, as, as Roger had pointed out earlier, we're talking about the distinction between the site plan, which the planning board approves, not the zoning board. And we were talking about whether or not we need to take a site view to actually look at it. But all of us have looked at the structure um, since we live here. And as Kristen just pointed out, there's nothing for us to see inside. So what we, the zoning board, are looking at are the provisions on page 38 and 39. The planning board did an extensive site plan review. So, sir, that aspect of it has been covered by a town board. They've done that without going there or did they just by writing by say it was all right? I'm not sure what the planning board did. They, it is their purview to do site plan review because that was scheduled to be done and it wasn't done, it was canceled. I think that would, have, that would have been the zoning board's site viewing that was canceled. It was canceled, yes. Yes, but that is not site plan review. That's just looking at it. That's just going down and looking at the building. And since we have in front of us an approved site plan from the planning board, and we've all gone by there, 
and know it, and there isn't anything we can see inside at this point, we don't have any uh, jurisdiction over the way the building will look inside. We are being asked to approve as to use this project based on the criteria in our bylaw. And the three voting members at this point feel as though they have enough information to approve as to use. Mr. O'Bear is under the obligation to build the project that he has proposed. So it's not as if we approve something and he does something completely different. Does that answer your question? I I still, if possible, would like you just to look at the uh, look at the building and see what's inside. Well, Mr. Robert, what would we see? What that is inside? Uh, you would see a construction site and an old school that's been emptied out. Yeah, I I, I don't think that we we would be able to. We won't see what the apartments are looking like. And that's that's really not what we do anyway. You know, we approve as to use based on the plan that is put before us with the complete understanding that this is a construction in progress. I, I can comment that, you know, the plans still have to be fully reviewed by the building inspector, who's mm -hmm. also the zoning enforcement officer for the town. So the, 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 the building inspector will scrutinize the plans, the special permit, the site plan review, and make sure that all the criteria has been met before issuing a, a building permit. So that's part of his job is to encompass all of these boards reviews and make sure that I'm, I'm following what I say I'm gonna do and that I meet all of the criteria that the town has laid out in their town bylaws. So without doing any of that, he, he will not approve a building permit. So it's sort of a uh, safeguard system that's in place. And you can rest assured that the building inspector is the town zoning enforcement officer. And it ultimately will, will be his, his call that we are in compliance. So the, Deborah, the one thing that's, that's probably missing in all of this is, and you won't get that, um, on a plan submitted, there's neighborhood impacts. What's the impact of this on a neighborhood? There's no property descriptions, locations, buildings, other other than the project itself. And well, nothing. Maybe, not maybe that should be a concern here. What what is it doing to the neighborhood? I'm I'm not quite sure. I'm following, Fred. I mean, it's there. There's no. There's no indication of where the neighbors are, what buildings are, are there. Well, there was a concern on, on lighting uh, that planning board made on, on one on one property, but uh, um, yeah, you drive by it every day and you can see what it is. But, but how do you assess the neighborhood impacts of this? Of this? Well, abutters have been notified. They've had a whole yeah. lot of time and um, there have been articles in the local papers um, due to the delay, there has been quite a bit of, uh, people have a long knowledge that this project is taking place. But you um, cancel the project, you cancel the meetings. We canceled them because we had to re-advertise the hearing because we didn't get an, a, um, enough of the abutters in our initial uh, application. And my concern is the size of the units inside. And you can't, you can look at a drawing mm -hmm. and, and see how it all looks. It's all laid out. But on a site view, to look inside to see how big everything is, even though it's not laid out, it should be laid out exactly what the proposal is, not a, a iffy. My first thought of this was the drawing isn't to scale, the things aren't set up the way they're supposed to be. So how can you issue a nine unit uh, complex here with no site view, no idea what the inside looks like, just looking at a drawing? Well, that would entail Mr. O'Bear having to actually build the entire 
project before he got a permit. And and we we have the plans are what we are voting on. And and what he had said earlier is that you know it's the building inspector who will enforce the state codes of how many people can be in in that based on the square footage. It's a one bedroom apartment. The state is very clear on what that on what that is. You know, twenty people can't live there if that is um, a concern. So it's I. I we we really we can't do that. We can't wait until it's done before we make a decision. Well, let me ask you: If this was in your backyard, wouldn't you like to see what the inside and how big the units are going to be? I would indeed, and that's what the plan is telling me: how big they're going to be. You think they're too big or too small? Too small. All right. Why does that concern you? I'm the neighbor. I look at everything. Yeah, but if, if, it's too, if it's too, big. but how does the too small impact you? How how are you? It's going to be. Uh, I I cannot imagine how many people are going to live in the one bedroom and the little little uh, little room that's going to be there, and they're going to be in and out all day, and there's traffic there more traffic on my road. I go out to get to my mail newspaper. I have to literally watch traffic. And my wife is in a wheelchair and we uh, fear for our lives here at times. You okay. So this is why I asked for a, a blockage with the hedge or something out there before. So I have my privacy on my side of my street. Did you attend the planning board hearings? Yes. Okay. And they, they, they put in that hedge per your request? Yes. I, I'm thinking that it, I'm hoping that it's going to be huge enough so I will not see all of the traffic and everything else that is going on there. Because it, it was approved and if something was going to be done there, but, you know. I would like to see it as a nice, nice apartment complex. I don't know if Quayley can, if that place can literally do the nine apartments that he's asking for. Uh, I somehow get the feeling that everything is going to be small inside. Well, look, he's not asking for a waiver of any of the dimensional requirements. So whatever the law allows, he's coming in in compliance with those stated uh, standards. Um, if he's choosing to build the minimum size, that would be his right. That's what a minimum is about. He's not asking for a waiver. And, and further, I, I don't know that there's any recognized correlation between a, a unit that's too small and increased traffic. I, I mean, that's never heard of that. But, um, but it, it, you can't say it's a too small unit because he's not asking for a waiver of any of the existing uh, requirements. I think it's speculation on your part. I understand that you, you may distrust the whole project, but yeah, speculation has to be, you know, identified when, when that's what it appears to be. I, I don't know why you think it's going to be too small in the first place, and why that impacts anything that we should be concerned about. It's just, just what I'm hearing. Does anyone else wish to make a comment or ask a question? Well, in that case, shall I close the public portion of our hearing? Do I have a motion? I'll, I'll second that. Thank you. Um, all in favor of closing the public portion of the hearing? Aye. Aye. Um, so with everything that we've had before us, all the information um, being uh, aware of concerns voiced, I would still vote to, um, I mean, I, not a still, I would vote to uh, issue the special permit for this project. I would also vote, I think it, he is fulfilling all of the regulations that, that, that I can see in 
in our zoning bylaws. I can't see um, if he does what he says that it, he definitely is going to fulfill all of these regulations. So I would vote yes too. I would vote yes because he has to meet all of the criteria that's set down by law. That's right. There's no choice. Right, right. Um, the permit would be invalid if these criteria are not met. Um, so we have made our decision. It is unanimous. We will write up um, this the special permit um, very soon and um, file that with the town clerk, Mr. Obear. Okay, great. I appreciate that. Um, there's there's also a 20 day appeal period. Yeah, Thank just, you, Bob. Just, the butters. just as a, I, I'm not sure, I don't want to overstep it. I don't know if the board has to make a motion to approve the permit and then take a formal vote on it. I, I just, I didn't quite catch it, all of that. that. That is that is probably my oversight. So I'm going to make a, a motion that we uh, that we vote on this project and I am voting to approve. I vote to approve. I vote to approve. Just when I think someone has to second to take a vote, <laughs> and then you have to vote to take to to approve. I, I believe. I, I just want to make sure we don't have we any will, other. We will just keep on voting. Okay, <laughs> I am going to make that motion that we take a vote. I need a second. <laughs> second. Okay, I'm voting to approve this special permit. I vote to approve. I vote to approve. Okay. We have voted to approve. This. Thank you all for your time. I, I appreciate it very much. Okay. Thank you all. And thank you all for coming, everyone who did come. We do appreciate your input in this in this process. Okay. So Fred, you had some um, procedural issues. Fred, uh, Fred, you're muted. Just kind of for the board, I'm not sure we need everybody else on board. On. It's an open meeting. Well, okay. Okay. Uh, there's been some concern about the, the uh, abutters list here that was submitted to planning board and ZBA. And as far as the official list, uh, I guess, the, has to come from the Board of Assessors. Right. And on future uh, lists that come from the Board of Assessors, the board, the, our uh, assistant assessor, will write on the list of abutters that this is a certified list. That's correct. Right now, there's no indication that that is happening. The only indication is it's attached to an email that anybody can attach a list of abutters to an email. But the for, but the registered list of, of, of will be one signed by the assessor. And that's the one that we should be using for all future public hearings, whether it's zoning, planning board, conservation, anybody else. Well, Deborah, Deborah, Mary, and I just worked on amending the application to say exactly that, Fred. So the new application that Mary submitted to Amy has that language in there and should be abided by. Yes, I, that was an important that was an important issue, Fred, and you brought that to our attention after the first hearing where we realized we didn't have the full abutters list. So as Roger said, the three of us worked on that and it's on the application that it has to be accompanied by a certified copy of the abutters list within 300 feet. But the, but the, cert, but the copy has to say certified on it. Yes, it does. Yeah, no, no. List, otherwise anybody can go online and print the abutters list. Yeah, well, that's what the word certified means. So, I mean, there should be, sort of a gatekeeping function i would think at the town clerk's office that they shouldn't process they, an application that comes in without the certified list anymore well they what i understand they process whatever is given to, to them to put online to advertise the meeting and whatever else files you want for that meeting they give that, that whatever is provided to them is what they go check 
to see if everything there is, is, is included. So from now on, when applicants send the uh, a butters list with their application package, I should know that they every list should have certified certification by the assistant assessor on it uh, on the list itself on the list yet. itself yes For, yes i'm i'm glad that's happening because i didn't know myself how I, <laughs> what the next step would be the, i'm glad to hear it All right okay is is there anything else well we should talk about our um upcoming meeting so the last time we met the um folks who wanted to do the expansion we're going to come back with a letter from the building inspector showing why they were denied that's right has that been submitted mary have we seen anything more on that i haven't i haven't heard anything i mean no it would have been emails that i actually was at the i i checked the mailbox today there wasn't anything in there well they still have time to do it um but as it stands right now that's the only matter on for uh june 1st, 1st. Yes. yeah so that probably is the only matter right mary it's too late for anything else too late to advertise for june yeah. 1st okay. yes right okay so we have that if they come back to us I, I i have no reason to think that they won't they um and i know roger you had also asked them for a more detailed plan as well that's right right so mary uh speaking of june 1st have you got that agenda posted uh no Just put that on you your want TV. me to go ahead and post the agenda go ahead yeah uh well it needs the thing is that we also need to have the legal notice ad of the advertisement posted two weeks before. Yeah, but this is a this is a continued hearing. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a. All this right, is Masterson Road project. Yeah, there. that 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 was uh, we already advertised that. Okay, yes. then then I can just post. Just post the agenda. Post the agenda for June first. You just need forty-eight hours advance. Right. So, yeah, but I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Um, with the holiday coming up, I wouldn't waste time. I would just get it done. And that can be updated if something new came in within. Right. It can always be updated as yeah. long as the required things have been posted once within the time parameters. They can be updated. This is like Manfred Mann, the roaring silence. <laughs> so is, is there anything else that we need to discuss? Well, you're going to write up the decision, Deborah. I I'm am. happy to look it over for you. That would be great. And, yeah. okay. um, and so Kristen and Bob, as soon as I have that decision written, um, I will send you emails so that you can go down to the town offices and sign. Thank you, Deborah. Oh, my pleasure. I just appreciate it because... I'm under incredible time crunches. I understand. I will do it. You know, I, I can probably do it tomorrow. And then Roger is graciously asked, you know, offered to look it over and I just email it over to him. Okay. So that will be, I know you're very busy right now, Bob. Um, so our next meeting is June 1st at 640. Yes. And Bob will not be able to attend that one. Um, but that he wasn't able to attend the other one anyway. So it would be Kristen, me, and Fred. Okay. Unless Roger, you want to come back and vote. <laughs> At some point I will, but um I'm I'm I think you are, I, yeah. You'll I think let you, us know when you're ready. <laughs> I know. I think you already announced though who those members were gonna be who were voting. Yes, 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 yeah. I did. Yeah. I was just kidding. Okay. Good night, everyone.
Good night, all. Good night. Bye. Thank you.